Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, thank you for joining me. So today I will be um, decorating my spread for the week of December 12th through the 18th in my fitness planner. Um, I did not do my spread last week because I had so many things going on, guys. I'm still trying to do my steps, 10,000 steps per day, and my overtime is back, so I've been working 55 hour, uh, 55 hour, um, weeks, and, um, I have to walk, the good thing is I have to walk after I'm done working because all that sitting is like making my legs just I feel tired from sitting so it's good afterwards to get up and walk so that's a good thing that's what's keeping me walking all right so before I get into it let me explain what I'm going to do and also this is the giveaway video Ooh, I love doing this video I love doing these giveaways because um I know, especially now with uh, inflation and everything, people have families, and I just love to be able to give to people who are really in need and um, would like to jumpstart their fitness year, you know, with some good stuff and keep them, help to get them really motivated. So I enjoy these giveaways. So last year I did one giveaway. This year, because of the two different types of planners, I will do two giveaways. So, you have two chances to win um, a little fitness bundle. Um, I don't have any idea. I just know that there's going to be planners and there will be stickers. Um, I'm not sure how many stickers, or um, but each set will, will, one giveaway, like I said before in the other video, will be with the classic planner from the fall release, and then the other little fitness bundle will be with the skinny classic from the fall release. And with each one, I'm going to give some sticker books and um, just little fitness things that I could find or whatever at the stores to put it all together and um, send it to my winners. So I'm gonna have two winners. Um, I, what I'm gonna do is the first name I pick will get the, well, should I ask the two winners which one they prefer? And if they prefer both of them ask for the same kind of, they both want the classic or whatever, then whoever's name I picked first will get their choice. Actually, I'll just ask the first person I pick what they, which one would they rather use, the skinny or the classic size. And then whoever is the second winner will get whatever um, bundle is left. That's how I'll do it. You see, sometimes you have to talk stuff out in your head to figure out how you're going to do this. Okay, so I'll get into the giveaway um, at the end of the video. And it's going to be for... I'm going to open it up today, the 13th, and it will close next Tuesday. So you have a whole week. You have the 13th through the, uh, till the 20th, and I will do the drawing on, I guess the 21st. I'll do it. Yeah. Cause I'll have it open all day Tuesday on the 20th. So the 21st in the morning, I will do the drawing and um, I will notify whoever the winners are because this is going to be strictly for YouTube. I think last year I probably did added Facebook to from the fitness group, but this year is only YouTube. So you're going to have to reply on YouTube. You have to comment, whatever I say to enter, you're going to have to do what you need to do for YouTube. And then I will, um, let whoever wins the two winners i will let them know on the comments in in their comments on youtube on this on the uh which video i guess the yeah, the giveaway video i'll go back and respond on that video for this video and let you know who the winners are 
so exciting. And then, of course, I'll also mention them again in my next video. Um, so they will be announced on the 21st. I'm trying not to confuse everybody. The giveaway opens after this video. Follow the instructions at the end of this video and you will be entered to win. I have two separate giveaways, one with the classic fitness planner, one with the skinny classic planner, fitness planner. It closes on Tuesday the 20th. I will pick two winners on Wednesday the 21st. First name pick gets their first choice. The second winner will get the remaining bundle. And yeah, so hopefully it's a week and a half before the new year begins. So I'm thinking you will have your bundle before the new year's. That's always my plan. Okay, got that out the way. Now I just have to remember to give away, I mean, to let you guys know how to enter before the video is over, right? That would make sense. Okay, so... Uh, let's take a breath. So, uh, with the bundle, well, with the bundles, with the um, things I had ordered in my planner haul video that I had showed, I got these two sheets from All Things by Keisha. And I was thinking of using the two girls here. Oh, she has sneakers and headphones. I can use those too. I didn't even look at that. I was too busy trying to find florals to match because y'all know I am about my florals. So, I I looked in the fitness floral, floral fitness from Live Love Posh, and she does have florals that match, but I am not a fan of the succulents. So, I had to do my own digging. I did pull some other icons, though, to use, um, like the mats and the gym bag and things like that. Um, but I think I'm going to use this instead I want to use these florals instead so we're going to see how that works out and then for boxes of course Jojo's spring night uh spring from last well this year I think yeah they're spring boxes I was trying to find my pastel I can't I just I was, I was just tired of looking and I was like okay this will do so let me get my washi and let's get started I'm hoping this looks okay I was trying to find florals that complement the girls I talked about that on my last video how some not my last video but one of my videos how um, like you have to I have to pick florals that look like they go with what I'm doing so for like, I think it was the Charlie Brown um, spread I was doing. How I didn't want the florals to look too realistic, too serious. That was the word I was using. So can't have serious. I guess you could say realistic. Maybe that's a better word. It, you know, it has to be kind of light. So going in right now using my favorite washi and I have some things to talk to you guys about so my planner fitness planner peeps I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in so long and I miss y'all my original crew I miss you guys um so I found out something this past these past couple of weeks so I have not been feeling my best after I eat for a while now and I wasn't understanding what the problem was. Now, I already have um, issues um, dealing with uh, gastritis and things like that. So I'm mindful of spicy foods, foods with sauce, yada, yada, yada. Got it. So I know that. But then there's like, there's other times too where I'm just not feeling well. I feel, I feel bloated. I just, I don't feel well. So, the other day, a few weeks ago, I was, made my breakfast and I just made ham and eggs. And I couldn't believe how 
well I felt. I felt so good. Usually after I eat, like I said, I feel sick. And I just don't feel well. And I was like, wow. Like, I felt so good that I noticed it in my body. Like, I just noticed how well I felt. So I was like, okay. Let me take note of everything I eat today. And let's just see. Let's just see. Um, because I was preparing myself to feel like crap after I eat because that's just what's been happening. So I was surprised. Like I really felt like as if I didn't eat anything. It was just like, oh, this is nice. I remember this. I remember when I used to feel fine after I ate. So a little while after that, um, I still had some... Um, vanilla wafers left in the box from when I had made the banana pudding. Remember the banana pudding I talked about? Um, so I had a few of those. Instantly, I felt like trash. And I was like, oh gosh, here it comes. Like, I knew it. And then I started thinking, like, let me check this box. Of course, it had gluten in it, of course, right? But I just was like, I think I have a sensitivity to gluten. So I said, well, I'll see. So the next day, I had a little bit of the banana pudding. Not too much. I had a little bit of it. And something else starchy. And I felt horrible again. And I said, okay. Took note. And I said, now let me not have gluten, anything gluten for a week and let's see what happens. You guys, I felt amazing, amazing. The crazy thing is when I would go to the store, I would always feel bad for people who have gluten allergies or celiac disease that they have to be careful of that stuff. And I remember Elizabeth Hassel, Hasselback, I think, from The View, she used to be on Survivor and she was saying how Survivor saved her life because she would feel so bad. Like she was like, I thought I was dying. I didn't know, they didn't know what was wrong with me. And she said, I had no idea that it was the gluten in food that was making me feel so bad. And she was like, when I went on Survivor, she said, that's when I started feeling so much better. And she was like, and I realized when I came home, that was what was wrong with the gluten. And that's exactly how I was feeling. Like, I felt so bad every time I ate. And I was like, what is going on? And that's what it is. It's I have um, a sensitivity to gluten. Um, she was diagnosed with celiac disease, which is much worse. But you can have a sensitivity to it, and you can have celiac disease. And, um... I feel bad, but I, I'm pretty sure I don't. I wasn't feeling as bad as she was feeling. Um, but yeah, I feel so much better since realizing that I have a sensitivity. I'm trying to think. Does that look okay with it? We're going to make it work like we always do, right? So, that's, should I move it? I think I'm going to move her over a smidge. I don't know how well these stickers, I don't know, I don't want to try it. That seems pretty stuck on there. I'm just going to have to move it over. Maybe cut some of this offset off of it. But yeah, so since I've realized that, I have been feeling so much better. And then the other day, because you know, once you've been, like, once you feel good for a while, you got, you feel like, oh, uh, you know. So the other day, I wanted a coffee roll from Nung Donuts. I know, I know. I wasn't supposed to eat it anyway. 
gluten sensitivity or not, right? <laughs> not supposed to have a coffee roll. But I wanted one, so I went when I went to Dunkin's, I got my um a coffee roll and I was like thinking to myself, it's not gonna be that bad. You know, I'll just probably feel a little a little, you know, but I, it's not that bad. It had been a while since I felt horrible, so I forgot. So I'm like, oh, you know. I get the coffee roll. Tear it down, y'all. Okay? I tore it down. And I'm telling you the regret after. <laughs> the whole day, I felt bloated. I felt sick to my stomach. Like, I was just not myself again. And I was like, was it worth it? Really, t just think about it. Was it really worth it? So, again. And there will probably be other days like that because that's just human nature. We always talk ourselves into doing things that we shouldn't do. And then when the consequences hit, we go, why did I do that? That was so stupid. So, yeah. If only there was a way to, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, get a snippet of how you were feeling. Like, just get a little, like, zap. Like, you, so you go, oh, yeah, no, that's okay. I, I'm good. I don't want that. <laughs> but we don't do that. We don't get the snippet. So we're just like, oh, I'll be fine. <laughs> and then I had to come after work, go lay down. Because I was like out of it for the rest of the day. I just had to go lay down because I wasn't feeling good. All that for a coffee roll. So the good thing about it though is that now there's so many gluten-free options. And again, I used to feel bad for people who have those special diets where they have to go and ask for things done, you know, cooked a certain way or whatever. Yeah, I look at teenagers and kids now and I'm like, you guys have no idea how good you have it. You guys have no idea. That's what I think. You can eat whatever you want. You can drink milk by the gallons. <laughs> and it doesn't bother you at all. You better enjoy it. Because you're, um, you're senior digestive system is coming for you okay and it's coming for you and when it comes there ain't no stopping it I mean literally I should be I told my son I said well that you know it's hopefully gonna there's another thing that's just gonna help me to stop eating crap and help me to eat more healthy more healthy foods. Because that's what my list is coming down to, y'all. Fruits and vegetables with um, a little bit of poultry and seafood splashed here. <laughs> there. I, I already have catfish off the list. Can't have that. I'm allergic to that now, so that's out. We'll see, y'all. We will see how this goes, but yeah. I am so glad that I figured that out because that was not fun. Let's put our boxes on here. I'm so, so into. Should we do like, I'm feeling like a little doot, 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 like, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like I need to just make it a little fun, right? Just do that. Oh my gosh, y'all. Sometimes you just need to do little things. Just some little things. 
and it just makes your spread look so much better. Look how cute that looks. Okay, so we got that. Um, maybe I won't use the sneakers. I don't, I don't know. I have the sneakers there in their lighter color. And then the headphones. Eh, I won't use those. Um, let's get some quotes first. And then we're going to put our sidebar. And that'll be it. Says I'm not swearing. I'm using my workout words. <laughs> I love the font on these. I think they're super, super cute. Okay. Um, and let's do this one. You can have results or excuses, not both. use this little piece here just to fill in this space here I think this came out so nice and the boxes oh my gosh y'all I really love this late this the spread this week Okay, and oh, am I going to do my workout tabs or no? I don't want to say or no because I think I say that too much. Let's get a and let's use the blue one. this and then I have to find my workout tabs let's put this down here that's done I already have two quotes so this is good, just putting that down the side. And I just want to see how these if they're if they're too like if they're too big or just make it look really messy or cluttered, that's the word. Then I'm not going to use them, but we'll try it and see. It's so difficult sometimes to get these stickers.
This one ripped a little, but we're going to have to use it. And this page is done. Okay, that doesn't look bad. It looks okay. Okay, we can put these back. After I'm done with this video, I will be trying to get my planners for 2023 together to see what discs I'm going to use or what I'm going to do with them before I make my video so I can have everything together. Um, let's put these in the planner. And again, I, does it not go well with these mint green discs, y'all? Come on. Come through mint green discs. I mean... Every time, it always just like completes the spread. Let's move this over a smidgen. Okay, here is my, this came out so cute. I really, really love this spread. It's so cute. And yeah, the florals were just, just enough florals. Wasn't, didn't have to do too much. I love this, okay. So now to the giveaway. What I need you guys to do to enter into this giveaway. Remember, two winners. You have until, this giveaway will be open until December 20th. On the 21st, I will be um, choosing two winners. First name chosen will get the first pick of what bundle they would like. And the... Second winner will get the remaining bundle. Um, each will have, one will have the classic planner, one will have the skinny classic fitness planner. And stickers and the other items I'm not sure of yet. I will go to the store and pick out a few um, fitness wellness type of items to put in your little bundle. And yeah, so all you need to do to enter is you need to subscribe to my channel. Of course, guys, subscribe to my channel. And I need you to put in the comments. Let's see what I want you to put in your comments. What you want to do, like your fitness goals for the new year is kind of like we always ask that. But I guess we can do that. So let me know in the comments what your fitness goals are for 2023. For the new year, what are your fitness goals? And make sure you subscribe to my channel. And that's it. I will choose two winners from this video in the comments. Two people from the comment section in this video. And... That's how I, they will be notified in the comments on this YouTube video. You'll be notified in the comments if you are a winner or not. And again, like I said, in my next week's video, I will also mention it, um, mention the winners as well. So that's it. Subscribe to my channel and put in the comments what your fitness goals are for the new year. And that is all. And you will have a chance winning either one of those bundles okay so that's it um so that's the end of my video i think i remembered everything i needed to discuss and talk to you guys about um again i really miss my fitness um my planner fitness peeps I'm still here guys i'm still trying to get stuff done figuring stuff out every time right i hope you guys are out there killing it still eating healthy, drinking your water, getting your exercise in. 
Um, I think that's it, right? Um, I will see you guys next time. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the like button. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I guess you're better now because you want to win the, the giveaway, right? Oh, come on, you need this stuff. It's going to help you. It's going to motivate you for the new year. Um, so make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the bell so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. And I thank you all so much for joining me today. I thank you all for hanging out with me, hanging out with me. So enjoy your week and I will talk to you all later. Bye.